ESPN Sunrise Real Estate, and I have my special guest today, Sonia Haas of Orange Coast Title. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sonia. Thank you for having me, Anne-Marie. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what your company does. So what does okay. Orange Coast Title do? So title insurance, and I've been in the title industry for 28 years, title insurance assures you the interest of your property um, against any liens, judgments, encumbrances, and but can you okay let's break it down. Wait. I sell a house <laughs> okay and I want to make sure that I have good title to pass from the right. seller to the buyer right what do you do so what we do is we do extensive research and examination of all the recorded documents that are related to that property and so we go to the title plan and we have an ex professional examiner that examines all the documents and then it goes to the title officer and the title officer reviews all those documents. Now, can you tell but us what kind of documents would be on the title well, report? Okay, so um, they're gonna check for if the taxes have been paid, any open deeds of trust, if there's any uh, liens or judgments, court actions, um, unpaid child support liens, all types of different items that could be associated with that property. And then even after the title company does all the extensive research on it, there are some items that are not recorded of public record. So that what could, kind could of come up. documents would that be? So that would be like forgery. Mm. Um, that um, someone forged to get that house or forged yeah, to do what? They could forge a document. Mm -hmm. um, there's two types of forgeries. One where they just um, deed the property over to somebody else, like a child tries to take the property from the parents and mm. does a fraudulent uh, uninsured deed. Or there's now um, reconveyances. When you pay off a loan, you get a recorder reconveyance and there's fraudulent reconveyances. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, well, even, so even if a person pays off the property and they have a recorder reconveyance, a title company is now going to ask, um, do you have any other proof that you paid off your property? Okay, so uh, that's what I was going to ask. So once you get right. these documents, you present them to the seller and the buyer so that they can see what is there. Then what right. do you do with those documents? Okay, so that's a preliminary title report that you get, and then you go through that, and then we try to clear everything prior to closing the transaction so that the property is free and clear of all of the uh, liens, judgments, any items that would cause the uh, delay in transferring a free and clear title. And so that we can make this really simple so people can understand, what does that mean when you clear them? How do you clear these liens? Okay, so um, like if there's a child support lien on there, mm -hmm. um, they have to pay the child support lien before they can transfer the title. If they have unpaid uh, property taxes, they have to pay that before they can transfer the title. Okay, so that's great. So And so that people understand that they don't usually have to pay it out of pocket. They pay it through the proceeds, proceeds. of the sale Correct. of the Correct. house. In title, title companies, we have two different types of policies. One is an owner's policy that, okay. that usually the seller um, pays for that, and that covers the buyers. And then the, there's a lender's policy, and that is covering the lender. Okay, so and explain, what does that mean when the seller is covering the buyer? Okay, so the owner's policy is insuring all the free and clear title for the new owner of the property. So that they know that there are no liens, no documents, no child support, no property Right, taxes. nothing can come back. So it's a one-time um, premium that the buyers pay, mm -hmm. different from any other type of insurance. So one time they pay title insurance fee, and that covers them for the life of the property. Okay. The and duration of the ownership. And so then the lender's policy, um, that is so that what happens? Okay, the lender's policy insures the bank or the uh, institution that um, had the loan for the life of the loan. So it insures them against any lawsuits, litigation, anything that could come about. So they make the sure that their loan is paid back. Right. Is that correct? Okay. Correct. So what kind of uh, things do you do? How, how do you work with um, title and how do you work with the real estate agents? Um, what I do is I'm more of a PR person. Mm -hmm. So I go out and just um, try to educate people. Um, entertain, build relationships, <laughs> um, and talk about title insurance. And then when they get the preliminary title report, I'll go over it with them and help them to uh, make sure that we can close the transaction in a timely manner. Okay, and then now if there is a delay, what happens? Does title still hold on until the, oh. the, all the, the clearances are yeah. finished so you can well, close yeah, successfully? One, one of the biggest things that we're seeing right now is when they, they have um, a line of credit 
that maybe they got like 20 years ago and they, they can't remember that they got a line of credit or who even so owns far back. yeah who owns that line of credit what you know a lot of the banks have merged with each other so they're, they're not sure who owns that line of credit so escrow has to order a zero demand and that line of credit has to be um, proven that it's uh, frozen and there's a zero balance on it well you can see there are a lot of documents uh, and a lot of things that you have to oversee and um, it's terrific so right. I'm glad to have you here with uh, Orange Coast title and I hopefully will be giving you a policy real soon <laughs> so, thanks Anne Marie so appreciate we'll, it thank you everyone for joining us today on CCN Sunrise real estate and we look forward to seeing you next week